two, one. What's up, mi gente? Let's get into this video. Yes, this is the third video I'm shooting. I thought after the last video I just did, I, I literally, that just happened a few minutes ago and you know, I had to take a minute to myself. These are the reasons why I record these moments in my life. I don't have to. I don't have to share anything with nobody. It might sound weird, but my therapy is just speaking out loud. And, you know, I get to play this back. And these videos are the easiest ones to edit. And I just post it. You know, I post it out to the world. But I share it with the world, even though obviously the whole world doesn't see it. But I do it more for me. And that's something that I... I have kept saying because these videos are for me these are just literally vlogs are for those of you who don't know what vlogs are it's video logs so these are logs that I'm making in video form for my life why because I want my future kids to be able to see like yo this was dad at the age of 26 these were his ideas these were his thoughts this was the family back then like damn look that was my great grandmother, yo, that was my, like, I want them to be able to have it. And even if YouTube falls tomorrow, I still have all these files, if you know what I'm saying. This video is called Remember This. And if I do, or if I'm able to find it, the thumbnail is going to be me uh, from probably my generation will know because we were the ones that used it a lot. And that was when, you know, the Apple store became like a hot thing for like people to go in and people to take those photo booth pictures. But now because everybody has pictures and they have face tunes and, you know, these little girls were like 13, 12 years old are looking like they're 18, 19, 20 year old, you know, thanks to their Kylie and their, you know, makeup supplies and everything. And it's, it's scary. When I was growing up, Back in sixth grade, there was this professor, or not professor, it was a teacher, it was my computer teacher. We would go into this thing and we had those old Apple desktops, which, you know, they, they came in different colors. They kind of look like an Apple, but they were like the big, small screen, big body on it. And it had like a little like hang thing. I don't remember, I don't, I don't know if that was like the first Mac, I, I don't know what they were called, but we had those in our computers, labs, and you know, we'd go in there and I remember, I don't ever forget this teacher always saying, when you guys get older, your generation, you're gonna need to know how to type in order for you to function in the world, in tomorrow's world. And that was something that I was, it was 2006, so I was in sixth grade. I was what, 12 years old? Yeah, I was 12 years old. And to me, it was crazy because I was like, I'm gonna need this when we're older. Like, what? Like, I'm just at that time it was PlayStation. I'm like, what do you? And mind you, phones weren't like a thing thing yet, but you we still had like the keypads where it was like, it was like one two three four five six seven eight nine, and if you wanted to say hello, you'd have to press you know four, if for the H and then the E you had to press the three and then the L you had to press the five two times. And then the O and then, you know, et cetera. And that's how you used to text. And I remember the Razer was one of the phones that made it easier. But for this video, I just the reason I called it Remember This is because that's like, we're that generation that, like my generation of, I think we're called the millennials, but who are 26. Uh, like we are the generation that, you know, we had to deal with LimeWire and you know i used to use frostwire because i didn't have fast enough internet i was on a uh, dsl internet you know we we had that and we had like dial up we still you know that's what we came up with and it's like our generation is that crust so like the kids who are 10 years younger than me they're already on they're already in like grammar school they got ig they got the snap they got all these things and i see my cousins who are younger and i see how they use it i'm like man this is crazy like when i I believe I was in high school when Vine had came out. And now obviously the biggest app there is in the world is called this thing called TikTok. And you know, people do their dances and people do their lip syncs and people post their content on there. And you know, it gets, and the reason why people like it is because from what I've heard, the For You page is like literally they do a great job with that. And also it's just where it's at. Like 
the youth is on there and wherever the youth is that's where the money and that's where people follow so you know you I'm, I'm starting as a kid who grew up on YouTube watching YouTube and now doing videos on my own on YouTube like I've seen the generation of like the pranksters right who were like the first one that came out then they diversify and they made like a second channel which I always thought that was cheating the numbers because if you have a fan base of a million people obviously a hundred thousand of those people will come to the new channel right and depending so i've seen that you know with the with the original like ogs of youtube then it was like this second wave where it was like all oh, these viner kids are now releasing this content of like daily vlogs and you know they're, they're making these where you get you know the such as jake pauls the logan pauls then you cut away to like the new generation which i'm seeing which is these kids on TikTok, like the Addison Rays, Charlie D'Amelio's, Little Huddy, Chase, aka Chase Hudson, uh, Bryce Hall. Ty like the fact that I'm 26 and I know these kids, and I and it hit me. I was watching one of their vlogs, and I was like, one of them was like, yeah, you know, like they're saying their age, and they're like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm X, I'm 19, I'm 17, I'm. 17. I'm like, oh, like these kids are 10 years younger than me, and then you have someone like you know, like who does makeup such as like a james charles who's like 21 and this guy's you know all over the place and you know i heard him on a podcast not that long ago and i heard his story and i was like oh wow like this kid his like me and him are only five years apart but when he was talking about him growing up like i remember tumblr was a thing for us in high school but when he was 11 12 12 years old internet everything was fast you know faster than what it was at my age so Tumblr was a thing and he was already monetizing that. And it's like, it's crazy how fast technology has been going on. And to me, I just think about like when I hear these Elon Musk interviews with Joe Rogan, where he's like, yeah, you know, I want to make this chip that goes in your head. And, you know, eventually we don't have to talk to one another because everything will be through like this neuro, whatever, like things they have. I'm just like, wow, okay, that's going to be a life in 10 to 15 years. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, crazy. Uh, but the one myth, and this video is all over the place, but there, that's just me. I'm all over the place. One of the things that he said that he debunked, which I remember as a kid growing up, I re always remember my dad telling me, I don't know, this was like late 90s, like... 98 99 i mean i remember it so i was like five six years old i remember my dad's like there's gonna be a flying car uh michael jackson's gonna be the first one to to you know drive it he already paid for it and 2010 it's gonna it's gonna be around and 2000 came michael jackson was already dead and there was no flying cars and then when i heard the interview with elon musk he said to joe rogan he was like if you ever want to see a flying car put wheels in a helicopter because that shit ain't happening and the man who was digging a hole and a man who created his boring company is telling me that i'm gonna believe him i i don't think in my lifetime i'm it's 2020 which you know 10 years from now we're gonna hear this year and you know there's this meme of like <laughs> they're like 10 years from now our generation our age uh there's gonna be a waiter that's gonna say hey your total was 2020 and then it was like a, a meme and it was just like memories of like this year so far like coronavirus you know the economy and everything i'm just like oh shit like that's kind of true it all started from you know me being 12 years old remembering like I, and i was i was never like like geeked into computers i just knew what i had to do to fend, to defend myself like fend for myself when it came to technology so like my first iPhone was an iPhone 5. Like, that's my... And, yeah, it's like... You know, I seen a video with, like, the first iPhone. I was like, wow, like, this was what the hype was about. But now, you know, we're an iPhone... I don't even know. I have... I think I have the 8. And it's been a couple years now that I've gotten a new phone. I will get a new phone. Uh, I heard that there's one coming out, which always comes out, like, in the fall. Either September or October. And then supposedly somebody told me that there was going to be a, a two releases and then a, another set of iPhone top of the year in January. And my birthday is in January. Now, am I or am I not going to surprise myself for a new phone? Maybe just wait and see. But 
yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy how I remember that thing as a kid. And, you know, there's these sayings, and I, there's actually a saying that I say to kids anytime I see them, like even my cousins and stuff, and I, and I tell them, like, yo, and I hope it sticks with these kids. And if you're a kid right now who came across this video, I don't know what you're doing here. But if you made it this far, let me give you that advice. And that is, and this is what I've learned every single year I've grown older, I, I remember this. And as a, as a kid, your parents would always be like, why do you want to grow up so fast? Why do you want to grow up so fast? Enjoy being a kid. Enjoy being a kid. And obviously, as a kid, all you want to do is, you know, you look up to people. Even now, you, I would hope you look up to people and, you know, model your life as some, after somebody. My saying to people and to kids, well, not to people, but to kids, is appreciate yourself now because you as a kid have the easiest job in the world especially coming here from the u.s like yo like i don't know if it's technology making our kids dumber but you need to appreciate you being a youth and appreciate being a kid because i'm promising and i'm looking at you right in the eyes being a kid will be the easiest job you ever have in your life and I hope that message sticks with kids or, you know, share it. And hopefully, you know, because if kids get that memory locked in, like I remember how my sixth grade computer teacher told me when I was 12 years old, like, hey, when you're in the future, you're going to live in tomorrow's world. You're going to need to know how to type. So learn. And, you know, I don't want to brag, but I was always top three in like the fastest typing. And to this day, these fingers, man, like give me a paper to type. Put me on the clock and just, I'm like Kobe in the fourth. So yeah, with all that being said, I will see you in the next video.